Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page. I'm using here a watercolor paper from a watercolor pad and I've already gessoed my page. The reason I've gessoed, of course, because it's a great primer, but also I want to use some acrylics and for this project, I am hoping the gesso will help uh, in the way that I will, um, I want to smear paint without the uh, page absorbing it uh, quickly. So that's why I've gessoed it. Now I've, this is one of my crazy ideas. I'm going to, I want to try and make some kind of like half a mandala here. And I don't want to measure. I don't like it. I don't want the, the symmetry of the mandala. I want it more freehand. That's the best explanation I can make. And I just marked here the middle, so it will help me uh, make it. And I didn't even measure that. I just uh, folded my paper like this and marked the center uh, point. Now I've got a, a compass, haven't used it in, I think, uh, three decades and I'm just going to start marking some uh, circles here half circles and it just to help me as a guideline I even thought about just uh, doing it as I said freehand I don't care here we go just marking I really don't care how it how it will uh, go basically this is it I don't even care that I will have a pencil on my page and if I'm lucky uh, it will smear with the paint and will create more tones to the color I'm using so basically that's the shape I want on my uh, page and as you can see not really symmetrical if you want symmetrical go for it um, now I've picked several uh, paints I've got here a African Violet by Deco Art I've got Cranberry Apple from Apple Barrel, a turquoise from Deco Art, and turquoise from Crimson. As you can see, there is no relation between these two uh, <laughs> shades. But okay, that's what I've got. That's what I want to work with. I'm also going to use white because I wanted to uh, mix with the other shades. So I'm just putting it down here. And and now white. Okay, so I'm going to take some a uh, some brushes with the hard uh, bristles I want to see the brush strokes and I'm not really trying to blend so uh, that's what I'm going for so starting with one of my uh, of the shades and going with and adding a little bit of white and moving to another one and I don't care just putting down paint and as you can see that's why I've made the lines it's helping me uh, I'm going to flip it like this so it will be easier for me the motion uh, is easier for me this way going to put more white here 
and you'll see I'm going to switch uh, brushes and I'm going to take let's hope it will be okay and not a disaster I'm using the white to create uh, variations in the color so it will be more interesting and another brush taking from the purple don't like this brush <laughs> so I'm going to switch for something else let's see a good thing I'm a hoarder of brushes I'm just playing with the colors there is no a uh, any real <laughs> reason or rules to where I'm putting each color just playing around this is only the beginning and I'm switching in uh, between uh, brushes so I won't get mud it's okay that is part of it is mixing but I need to be careful between the blues and the pinks So that's why I'm switching and a lot more white so I'm just going to play around as you can see thinking I'll continue uh, putting down paint and playing with it until I'm satisfied and then I'll come back so we can continue this very uh, loose uh, mandala I'm going to make I'll be back I'm back so this is my background the start of my loose mandala that I'm going to do I still got the mark here of the center and uh, the way I figured I'll go about it is starting to stamp in a arc like this now you don't have to uh, use stamps uh, and you can use whatever you have and what I'm referring to is that you can do this with any uh, tools that you have uh, to make a mark if it's a, a lid from a, anything you have you can start uh, making prints with it and or you if you have lots and lots of stickers then you can start putting stickers and making the same thing I'm going to use um, a lot of stamps and that's how I'm going about it maybe I will uh, add something else uh, it's not I haven't really thought uh, it through only had a vague idea of what I wanted to do so here it here goes this is the centerpiece for uh, the start of my mandala and I've dug out a lot of uh, stamps that I ra rarely use so again I'm going to just start from the center and just going in arcs 
like so and let's hope something nice will come out of it and not a complete <laughs> I don't know failure <laughs> okay so you can of course alternate and do a whatever theme you want I I'm thinking it can if you want a theme you can go like all hearts you can all all butterflies all flowers I'm just going to play around and now I'm going to take um, a, a heart stamp and again and you can also alternate with um, the colors of your uh, stamp it doesn't have to be black I'm just doing it simply like so and I want to see what will <laughs> come out of it and maybe next time I'll make something a little bit more elaborate and if I won't like it then I'll just uh, cut it and use it for other project Again, you can go and make lines uh, of the half circle if you like symmetry. Uh, it's up to you. I'm just going with my crazy ID and let's do a flower now. Uh, let's see. What do I want to use? Let's go with that one. Oops things are falling here I'm uh, always starting from the center it just works better that way I think <laughs> I think I think you can probably hear my kids in the background they are on holiday it's Passover and we still have until next Sunday to be done with this holiday well I'm starting to like what's happening here so it, it seems like it wasn't a completely a foolish idea, this mandala thing. And I'm going with this butterfly now, just so to have some kind of difference uh, in shapes. So I'm thinking now that I will just continue stamping away and alternating between stamps and shapes and that I'll get back to you <laughs> when all of this is stamped because it's kind I think it's kind of boring looking at me just stamping away and I really don't have any theme for uh, this uh, mandala I'm just as I said alternating between uh, shapes and stamps I'm going to try this uh, square now and what I the only thing I did want to say is that it doesn't have to be a like this you can do whatever you want you can even overlap and that's what I'm going to try and do right now I'm going to try and 
make a pattern with this square and do a little bit of overlapping like this and it doesn't have to be a graphic shape I could also have done this with any of the stamps I've used here so that's another thing that you can do if you're uh, up to doing this kind of project so I'm going to continue with this and I'll be back I'm back so finished stamping uh, let me tell you you need patience for this kind of stuff or uh, using bigger uh, stamps than I had but I've I've made it through <laughs> and uh, now I'm thinking I can leave it be because I really like how it looks I can highlight a uh, with Posca pens I can add more uh, interest dots and lines with gel pens the, the sky's the limit again use your imagination do whatever you want you can change the colors and do something more with warm colors and you can make it more symmetrical than what I've done options are endless so I'm thinking now I'm just going to uh, add a little bit more interest to my uh, mandala by using Posca pens and again loose uh, markings nothing symmetrical not trying uh, to be accurate I really like that it's a uh, freehand like this so that's what I'm going for here and I'm thinking I'm going to continue doing adding a little bit more interest and then I'll come back I'm back so I just added a little bit of details to uh, my stamping not a lot of, uh, of it just uh, th in places that I thought it will uh, uh, make things stand out a little bit more and for me this is it but as I said uh, options are endless uh, just use your imagination and play with it so this is my page I hope it will give you some ideas to play around thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now